Representative Rashida Tlaib, the only Palestinian American member of Congress, is being smeared on made up charges of anti Semitism. Of course. I know she was targeted on Monday for supposedly claiming that Michigan's Attorney General, Dana Nessel, is going after pro Palestinian protesters simply because she herself is Jewish. Now, Tlaib, of course, never said that. She never said anything of the sort. So, where did this come from? Well, it turns out the uh, CEO of the Anti-Defamation League, Jonathan Greenblatt, posted on X claiming that Tlaib had made an anti-Semitic statement about Attorney General Nessel. Uh, now, Nessel is per currently pursuing charges against uh, pro-Palestinian protesters at the University of Michigan, alleging uh, that some had assaulted police officers and engaged in ethnic intimidation. Greenblatt wrote, when your attorney general prosecutes people for violating the law, harassing Jews, and attacking police officers, it's in the interest of public safety. When a congresswoman accuses the attorney general of prosecuting protesters simply because she's Jewish, it's bias. And in his post, Greenblatt linked to an article published by a Jewish Insider on Sunday, which had discussed an interview Jake Tapper had on CNN with Whitmer uh, in that Tapper asked uh, Whitmer to respond to a made-up quote that was unsourced. Congresswoman Tlaib is suggesting that she shouldn't be prosecuting these individuals that Nessel says broke the law uh, and that she's only doing it because she's Jewish uh, and the protesters uh, are not. Uh, that's quite, uh, quite an accusation. Do you think it's true? Like I said, Jake, I'm not going to get in the middle of, of this argument that they're having. Now, the Jewish Insider article stated that Tlaib has also claimed that Nessel is only charging the protesters because she's Jewish. But the evidence there is pretty lacking. That article repeatedly linked to yet another article, this one from the Detroit Metro Times, which included no quotes from Tlaib referring to Nessel being Jewish. In fact, her religious background was only mentioned as part of the description from the article's author, who wrote, Tlaib also criticized Nessel, who is the first Jewish person elected Attorney General of Michigan, for what she believes is a biased approach to the protest. The ha, the bias. Yeah, there, well, there is bias against Palestinian protesters. This is true. Uh, in fact, here's her quote from the Metro Times. Quote, we've had the right to dissent, the right to protest. We've done it for climate, the immigrants' rights movement, for black lives, and even around issues of injustice among water shutoffs. But it seems that the Attorney General decided if the issue was Palestine, she was going to treat it differently. And that alone speaks volumes about possible biases within the agency that she runs. So biases within the agency. Tlaib did not mention whatsoever Nestle's religion, did not mention Judaism, which of course led to uh, Tapper having to, the following day, correct himself. I should note that I misspoke yesterday when asking a follow-up of Governor Whitmer, who I asked about this. I was trying to characterize your views of Tlaib's comments. What do you make of those today, noting that uh, Congresswoman Tlaib never explicitly said that your bias was because of your religion, and so it's unfair for you to make that allegation? Well, a, a couple of things. First of all, in 2022, when my uh, opponent uh, accused me of being a, a groomer and a pedophile, everyone understood that those were homophobic remarks because I, I happen to be gay, right? I didn't have to explain it to people. Um, Rashida Tlaib is an individual who is well known for making um, inflammatory, uh, inflammatory and incendiary remarks that are anti-Semitic in nature. So this isn't the first time um, that we would have heard these words out of her mouth. I think it's very clear to everybody exactly what she was saying. Uh, no, uh, actually not. <laughs> Look, she talked about a possible bias against Palestinians which is something that is absolutely happening. Yes, there is a bias. To take that and turn it into, oh, well, you, you know what she was talking about. She was being anti-Semitic. That's pretty gross. And, and this is, again, somebody who supported Nessel uh, as a Michigander. Um, look, I've seen real anti-Semitism play out. It happens a ton on the right wing. Uh, to equate it, like, for um, saying that, hey, maybe we shouldn't be sending arms and weapons to Israel while they're doing ethnic cleansing in Gaza and the West Bank, uh, that, that is somehow considered to be anti-Semitic? 
No, it's not wanting to be complicit in the slaughter of civilians, of innocent people. Okay. Now, her statement only counts uh, as anti-Semitism if you believe that any criticism of the right-wing government of Israel is anti-Semitic. I don't subscribe to that. But by their definition, anyone who shows any sort of sympathy for the Palestinian people who are caught in the middle uh, between you know, Hamas and, and the Israeli government, well, that's automatically anti-Semitism. No, it's a ridiculous standard. Look, these protests, these protests were majority peaceful. And most of them have been carried out by Jewish protesters. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and really only targets the policy decisions of the right-wing government is, uh, of Israel. In fact, you had, unfortunately, a lot of the violence being instigated by Zionists. All right. Look, this is not about the Jewish people. Jewish people are not the same as the government of Israel. All right. Jewish people are not Zionists overall. No, the fact is that Jewish people are actually protesting the Israeli government and what they're doing, not just uh, in you know Gaza, but the West Bank, now in Lebanon. That's evidence that these charges of anti-Semitism are just smears. That's really it. Look, these people are being called anti-Semitic because they want a peaceful solution to what's going on in the area. That is going counter to what Benjamin Netanyahu and his right-wing government are doing. They want to escalate this conflict. They're admitting it. They're like, yeah, well, we're, we're going to do uh, de-escalation through escalation. That doesn't make any sense. It's a contradiction. They're attacking Lebanon. After attacking the West Bank, after allowing, uh, you know, uh, the military uh, and allowing these uh, these dump trucks to come in and just demolish streets in Jenin for no reason. They're doing that. And, and in the West Bank, there is no Hamas in the West Bank. They're not located there, but they're expanding their war. And Netanyahu is currently rejecting all peace offers, including ones that will guarantee the return, the safe return of the remaining hostages. Look, all Netanyahu is doing is actually trying to help Donald Trump win the election. Notice the timing on there. We're not going to talk about it. Uh, we're not going to do, uh, you know, talk about peace at all for the next 45 days. Hmm. The election is, uh, that's a, a very specific frame of uh, time. All right. Time frame. Uh, on this, uh, where they're not going to discuss peace at all, which is not going to help Harris. Look, I, I think that's very clear on the part of Netanyahu, uh, who is a, a massive right-winger, and he's going to support massive right-wingers. The fact that you can't criticize Netanyahu and the government, along with non-Jewish U.S. officials, for 100% backing the wars of aggression without being called anti-Semitic is a huge problem. It actually dilutes real instances of anti-Semitism. If you're calling everything anti-Semitic, then real anti-Semitism that actually hurts the Jewish community, well, I mean, it's just lumped in. Lumped in with everything that's not. And it's gonna make people think, eh, it's not real. But it is real. It is real. Um, Anti-Semitism is an absolute real issue. I've spent years talking about this. But one issue that doesn't get talked about enough is Islamophobia. So that was a photo that was published about Representative Rashida Tlaib. This was after the pager attacks in Lebanon uh, on Hezbollah, basically accusing her of being Hezbollah, accusing her of being a terrorist. So if a Jewish person was drawn in such a way, well, that would immediately bring up charge. Oh, anti-Semitic, it's anti-Semitic. But when it's Islamophobia, it gets let go. Our government and our media only seems to see one of those things as a problem. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you wanna support independent, progressive media, through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shut down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon, it's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.